24 bass, 25 note uh, piano keyboard, that's recording. Sounds like we've got sticky notes. in case uh, you didn't see these covers are held on by one little screw at the top and a small screw at the bottom they're very tiny screws and uh, you might need a watch driver to get them out that's come off there and uh, keep your parts carefully the keyboard sticky notes When you get sticky notes on the keyboard, um, a lot of the time it can be um, just due to age, the wood swells, gets dusty, dirty, and wear and tear. This, you'll see a little rod sticking out here. This rod here goes right the way the length of the keyboard, and uh, this is the, what the notes pivot on. Now, sometimes I've found that if you can grip this rod, just by giving it a turn or a slight pull or a push you might free the notes up uh, on this one which is what I've just done uh, I found that by just giving it a bit of a, a tug and working these notes if this rod won't come out and you're frightened you're going to break it then what, what I've done is free these notes up because there was a few sticky ones just a moment ago um, a bit brutalish, but I simply work the notes slightly, and it just it just moves the notes around on that spindle. It, 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 it just frees them up a bit. But you mustn't do it too hard, because if you do it too hard, you'll break the notes off. Otherwise, you're going to have to remove this spindle here by pulling it out. One way you can pull it out, what I've usually done in the past. To, um, if you can, if you can grip, grip that spindle there, and then once you grip it, you can tap and pull it out like that. Very difficult to grip. In fact, sometimes I use I use wire cutters. Uh, or the cutting part of this on there to grip it. Of course, you mustn't go uh, and then tap it out like that. It's a bit brutal, but sometimes it's the only way. You've got to grip that and then knock it out without damaging the equipment. But uh, that little repair seems. And that was simply just by wiggling the notes quite a bit brutish. <laughs> But uh, that seems to work. Well. Now the next problem is we've got the bass button sticking on the other side. Just those four removed. Let's see if we can get the cover off the bass side without need to remove the bass strap. A tight one on here. 
No, we're going to take the base strap off. So we'll just take these three screws out the top. I've just taken the other two strap screws out. When you replace these screws, be careful not to over tighten them. Right, and then just get this last one out. Now there we are. <coughs> now we can see what's uh, happening in here now. I'll put the accordion uh, propped up in its case to find the note what's uh, sticking and uh, we know it's the um, D note so the that's the C the little hole in the top G D so this is the sticky note here now you can see the mechanism moving down there if we come up now you can actually see the note sticking up there well I can I don't know if you can but uh, let me point it out with a screwdriver. This one here, you can see the way the pad is up. Oh, not very good film. Let's see if I can find a better angle. So I'll just push that pad down because very often these, these things just get stuck in transit, you know. Very often I've turned up at a club at night and uh, took the accordion out of the case and all the base buttons are stuck down oh they're floppy and this is such a, an intricate mechanism here that sometimes you just get something knocked out of place slightly these things here can be the wrong side of these little bars I'm an accordion player I'll just do my own repairs whenever I can you know that one's a bit sticky there as well. Don't ever oil these things. That's just to brush them gently out, maybe with a vacuum cleaner. But even brushing them, you can. The glue is so old that uh, even vacuuming them, you can pull something off, you know. And it depends on how far a repair you want to go to. Um, just be just be very careful. That's all. This is the air button here. The air release. That's working. And down here, you can see where the resin has been poured in here. And I don't think that's as old as the accordion, but that and um, that stops air leaks. You get some resin and pour it into the joins in the wood. There's a case in the sides all me and you might cure your air leaks but you've got to be very careful you don't drop any resin onto your, your pads because if you do that you will have uh, sticky horrible everywhere well that's that seems to have cured that there we are the accordion's now reassembled so we'll give it a try see what it sounds like well, we'll give it a bit of a test now Well, that was a very good for his age.
in the coating for the dry to throw pretty good. Uh -huh, I forgot to put the air button back in. <laughs> uh, I'm always doing that. Oh well, there we are. Good luck.